Well, in case anyone is interested, on my ride out of here. Whew, I'm just filming this for the shit of it. Style. Uh, just for. In case anyone enjoys this. And let's go. Yeah, my little button drops the seat down. Help me get over these obstacles. Ooh. Well, I can always bring up the point that if you were to come up here and you were to be on the Rhode Island Historical Cemetery website, and you were to be looking at where they put the GPS dot. <clears throat> it's gonna be like right in those woods over there. That's where it brought me. You know, probably not that knoll, but a few knolls down. It's like a big giant rock quarry. Yep. But they must be planning. We gotta do that uh, Enduro loop. Once again, I get a few comments on let's do that Enduro loop out here. That's kind of what saved me. Look at these woods out here. Oh. Oh no, two stroke engines. Oh, no engines in general. Any cranky people out there? Huh? Whew. Only me. <sighs> Feel much better now. I ripped up by that one. There we go. Back of one of them silver shiny things and yeah and this is it. I said this is that Enduro loop. I did a little bit of it. If it's anything like the Enduro loop over at Diamond Hill I stumbled upon. It was a very scenic experience. <clears throat> Oh, we're gonna do a lot of mountain biking today. Let me get some miles in. idea if this was their old trail to get it out I just stayed a trail throughout the years those people not have trails because they didn't move around much Oh, there was more to that story, too. It's like what these people did is they, uh, I guess they made shoes. They made shoes and then they would have to hoof it to Providence. I did find, I don't really find, you can draw right by us. 
can't see it from the road in the fall, but right now you can see it. An old railroad, old railroad bed. Or bridge or something. Oh yeah. These new mountain bikes literally just float right through this stuff you can't walk through. And it's got the 29ers. I forget what size. 2.6 tires or something. Literally got these power lines here. There's multiple more of these little historic cemeteries. They're kind of really close off the side of the road. I think I got videos of them. I said that one there, 97. This doesn't seem right that. A good hike. <clears throat> and now I could be in shorts and a t shirt right now. We should go do that southern loop. Maybe next weekend we could do the southern Hanton loop, Hanton city trail. This will probably take you about. Whoa, I almost fell over the handlebars. Just get for talking on the GoPro. Uh, someday I'll upgrade to clipless pedals. And footwear. Uh, you know, just, just enjoying pedaling around. Oh yeah, and this tracks the bike to do it on. I've had a lot of bikes. But this track special. Come on, catch my pants. Whew. Honestly, that one might come up and just ripping around all these little paths. <clears throat> One of these leads up to the old Brown Cemetery, in which I have back in my old videos. <sighs> yeah. 
It is time for Hungry Man breakfast. Can't remember if they call it Hungry Man or Superman. Either way, it's coming my way. I know, and I've done the math, it's like that brown cemetery is literally parked right next to the main Fidelity building. Only thing separating is like 20 feet of well-kept grass, stone wall. <sighs> Looks like something's out there. <coughs> See, you know, a relic. Snowmobile or something. I could literally explore those woods for a long period of time. All right, maybe next time we go that way and we go see what's in those woods over there. Look like a sign or a snowmobile. Something. Wow, is it nice out now? It's too bad, look at these. It's like the four wheelers have taken over. 